Hi everyone, we are back with another video from the Butterflies and Bugs page. This is Small Victories by Johanna Basford and we have a, another butterfly to colour today. Now we have done two pinks and two blues. Oops, I'm thinking I might do another orange coloured one perhaps today. Oops, I'm just going to put something on the edge of the page to stop it flipping up. There we go. But I'm not sure, so I'm going to do the body while I think about it. Yeah, I've got a few ideas, actually. Let's do it sort of browns to orange. It could be a bit, little bit different for you. So let's start with our dark sepia. So rather than doing our body in a black, we're going to do a brown. I'm going to use this for the um, antenna. I love the shape of these. They look very, very cool. I wonder if they ever would come in that sort of shape. Look more like antlers. I love them. So I'm just colouring this in fairly dark. Like that. And then the head I'm going to use this colour for as well. So around the edge in a nice... Select lots of layers and then a bit lighter in the middle. Like that. Now I'm going to miss out that um, diamond shape and we'll use a different colour for that. I'm going to skip down to this bit and darker here and here and down to this one a bit darker too. That's, that's lovely. Now, I'm going to use a different grey for the other stripes. Um, I'm going to go down a couple of um, a couple of shades, so I'm going to go into the warm grey 5, then it will show up as being different. Um, no, we're doing brown. Hang about. Scrub that idea. Sorry of you who've been searching and sharpening. We're going to use new car. Sorry. And like the others, a little more layering on the edge than the middle. There we go. And the same at the bottom. And hopefully that makes our body look a little bit more rounded. This bit. Um, mm, I'm just pondering. Bear with me. I think the Van Dyke is going to be the best shade for this. So... Um, hmm. I think I'm going to do it quite lightly. Like that. Keep it fairly light. And I want some darker in colour in here. We've already got, Johanna's drawn us some lines anyway. I'm going to use this colour. This is the Burnt Sienna. Sorry, you can't see it properly. And that will guide me into an orange. I'll show you. So I'm going to use it here, all the way along here on this top wing. And then fade. So less layers. Now it is easier to blend if you fade all the way to the end. I'm going to do that. Just a really light layer all the way across. Don't worry about this bit. We can do that later. Like that, and really intensify it in there. We'll do the same on the other wing. We're not worried about the bottom wing yet. I've got no idea what I'm going to do. That we can do it purple or something. <laughs> Imagine. I don't think I can cope with that. <laughs> Be a bit different, wouldn't it? So. If like the other one, just gently fade it to the end of this little section. I'm trying to find a place to put my hand. It's quite tricky with this little teeny pencil. Keep my hand out of the way. But I think you know what I'm doing anyway. There we go. Now we're going to move to an orange, but we're not going to use one of the regular oranges. I think we use the terracotta be a little bit different. It sort of tone in better with the brown. It's not very sharp. I'm going to see how I go. So I'm going to go over this bit 
and then just gently fade it just in the same way we did with the brown and the same under there like that so it looks almost brown rather than orange but I'm okay with that because we've got a bright orange butterfly so it, it's a different look which is what I was hoping for and actually I was I was considering doing it just brown but I think this lifts it a little bit makes it look warmer well browns are quite warm but I don't know a little bit more fun maybe I don't know what word I'm trying to think of now these edges are very pale I don't think I want I think I want a few more layers of colour see these dots I want to colour over those in white pen and at the moment if I do that you won't see a thing because it's so pale so what I'm going to do is have a look and see what, what colour to put on top um, I could choose the beige red but I think that will totally change the colour um, I know I think I'm going to try this. This is the dark Naples ochre, the sort of yellowy colour, browny yellow. I think that will work. Can we use it on this end? It will, it will warm, add warmth, almost a little glowiness. I'm not going to take it all the way to the end though. I'm going to take it out of the lines. You know, it wouldn't be me if I wasn't going out the lines. it sort of still looks quite brown which is what I was hoping but I'm hoping that when I put some white here it will show up at least a little bit very little dots anyway right there we go there's our top wing I'm just grabbing my hanky I'm sorry and I can think while I'm uh, wiping my nose oh excuse me now I think um the bottom wing I might just go for the terracotta on its own I'm going to sharpen it a little bit I realize we've got these three sections I think rather than doing them different colors I'm going to just treat color them one at a time but I'm going to put more intense color on that edge and then fade them a bit towards the middle so we can see that they're separate little sections but they're still the same colour it's a little bit tricky to do this because we're not using a really intense colour anyway I'm going to do my best and you could just block it in if you find that easier there's uh, no, it's not a competition you have to copy it exactly he might even prefer to use a different colour. It's absolutely fine. It's really worth remembering that when you are sort of watching a tutorial or trying to follow along, if you don't like it, just do your own thing. You need to have the confidence to just change it up a little bit. Some of you do more than others. I just remembered I was going to do this green. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> This is a very special terracotta green. <laughs> tomorrow. We'll do a green one tomorrow, shall we? Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to do a little bit more layering. Yeah, as I say, if you don't like it or you feel something would be better, have a go. You know, I have been colouring for over 10 years, but that doesn't mean that I know more than you about everything. I know I'm learning all the time, just like you are. This is Burnt Sienna. There are some things that you're going to be better at than I am. So uh, just, I'm going to block this end bit in. I'm not going to do anything fancy and also we will share different tastes with regards to colour your favourite colour might be um, black um, my favourite colour is usually green um, you might love pink I don't really 
you know so it's um it's important to make sure that you have a bit of flexibility shall we say you know and don't be afraid that if i notice some people will actually show me pictures they've done following my tutorial but they change things and i love it you know i think it's really really good but if you just want to follow along do so you know right i'm going to choose one of my darker colors yeah i think i'm going to go for the sienna sorry the dark sepia talking rubbish i knew what i meant and do the end of the these wings really dark and we'll put a bit of white on i might ignore those dots to be honest even though i went to all that effort to try and make them accessible if you know what i mean or i might just put some bigger dots on the end of the wing here i feel like it's going to need something we'll work it out as we go and these as well My son's got a new computer game he's having fun with. He bought it last night, but he should be working. But it's quite a um, high action game, lots of movement. So I've asked him to take breaks because I get a bit worried about his photosensitivity. If he's, uh, although he did say to me, Mum, I know when it's going to affect me, but no. Um, so uh, I've asked him to take breaks and said, suggested that when he has a break he could he can hear banging, that he can have a look at his work. So do you see I've just put a little bit of a line under there. I want it to look a bit shadowed. I don't know if that worked. But I think my neighbour's banging about. Not sure. I like hearing banging about really. when I'm um, when I'm on my own because it makes me feel like I'm not on my own now I'm going to do a little bit of shadow in here so I'm keeping this dark sepia just I know we put some shadow in already when we were colouring it but just putting in a little more we didn't put any down here and a bit in here Oops, that's probably a bit deep. Mm. And I'm going to put a bit under our diamond as well to make it look like it's sitting on top. I don't know why, but I feel that's how it should look. I'm just going over these lines. What is that banging? Now it's annoying me. Not because it's annoying, but because I want to know what it is. Because I'm nosy. <laughs> I'm so nosy. I am the nosiest person I know. <laughs> right, white pen. Now let's have a play. Um, I'm going to put some larger dots along here. So you have to make the circle to get it a bit bigger. So I'm just like that. And I am going to go over those. And a large one there, I think, and a little one there. And on this one, a large one here and a little one there. Then a dot in the middle of each of these, a smallish one. Try not to miss like I did. And then the mirror image on the other side. So a large dot here, a little one there. That one's a bit bigger than that one, and they're not symmetrical. And as I was saying the other day when I was doing one of these, I don't know if you've been watching these in order, but that um, that butterflies aren't always symmetrical. So that's really good. It means there's no pressure to get them looking perfect because they aren't. Nature isn't that way. There we go. I rather like him. I think he's my favourite so far. Um, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I like him. So there he is, our next one. We've got two left. Well, one's a beetle, one's a butterfly. So that's fun. But uh, yeah, tune in tomorrow, please, for the next one. But thank you for watching today. Um, hoping you have a lovely, lovely day. And uh, yes, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you so much and happy colouring.